Hello there, everybody. Joseph here. Excuse me. And we're back with something a little new. Yes, we're playing Falcon BMS. Uh, I decided since we're doing the birth of uh, air combat, why not go into the modern day air combat from simple uh, wooden and canopy covered planes to full fancy metals uh, to from you know rifle caliber machine guns to electrically rotary 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 well i can't say the word <laughs> electrically driven uh cannons as well as laser, laser guided bombs heat seeking missiles radar guided missiles the works you know uh so let's go ahead and hit a campaign up click on campaign we're gonna leave it on this uh operation rolling uh fire because it's kind of a a, a balanced match here as far between uh, North Korea and South Korean U.S. forces. Uh, we'll be flying for the 36th Fighter Squadron out of Osan Air Base. The situation is bleak currently. Uh, we'll leave the challenge rating to cadet since I'm still learning quite a bit. Uh, our squadron specialty is general, which means we just do everything. We do uh, any air, uh, you know, inter interceptions, uh, ground attack, the works. And we'll be flying the F-16C uh, Block 40. Or the F-16C 40s. So let's go ahead and hit commit. Uh, we'll leave all that there. We'll start this campaign. Uh, let's go ahead and set up our data cartridges. Make sure our default channel number 15 is set to Osan. So that we can contact our lovely tower here. Uh, so here we are. We're in Falcon BMS. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff on the map. Well... That's because these are actual units and they're uh, doing their own thing like we are doing. So, as you can see, there's a uh, right here, this guy is a armored division. There's a mechanized infantry division. There's regular infantry divisions and there's any area defense units. And as you see, actually, if we click on them, you can see where they're going. This, this, uh, any air division here is going up to this radar site. So, they're going to go support that radar site there. These uh, mechanized infantry units are, uh, they're not moving. We're kind of just chilling out there. Air divisions aren't really going anywhere. What are these guys doing? Not a whole lot. But as you can see, they're all doing their thing while we are doing our things in the air. So let's go ahead and speed up time. There is some missions up right now that we can take for 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, oops, oops, oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Eh. Okay. I think that might have been where it was. Uh, let's go ahead and speed up time. And see if any new missions pop up for us to take. And we'll go ahead and stop. This is something I, I really love about this game. And the fact that, uh, you know, a lot of modern flight sims don't do it anymore. Uh, the only one that I can think of is Rise of Flight kind of does it does it fairly well with, like, the Pat Wilson generator. But that's outside of game. This is actually all in-game. There is no, uh, you know, external forces working with the game uh okay let's stop there there's some oca strikes going on here we can take a part in there's one at 519 and one at 520 so there's two strikes going on uh what is this target is a highway strip and uh, the notch o knee highway strip this is in right, north korea up. so let's see here so fury six OCS strike, that's probably the group after this one, as I have selected this guy, is going for the control tower at the facility. And Fury, or Fury 6, sorry, not Lobo 6, but Fury 6 is going for the runway and other target facilities. So they're hitting an airstrip, essentially. This might actually be fun to take. I've never actually done a airstrike on an air center. Even though this is not highway, no, highway strip. So... The North Koreans have taken this little strip of land. If we go in here and recon it and turn it into a airbase. So using the, oh, that's right, it's this guy here. They are using a highway as a airstrip for their fighters. Though it doesn't look too much like a highway. It does look like an airstrip. Okay, so we might, we might jump in on this one. Go ahead and exit these recon patrols. Uh, should we join in with the radar guys or with the airstrip guys? I think we'll join in with the airstrip guys. I'm going to take over L Lieutenant Brant's uh, slot here. Let's go ahead and look at our loadout, see what we're carrying. 
Oh boy, we are carrying some big old GBUs. Some GBU 10 CBs, laser guided munitions. These are laser guided munitions. They're not uh, the other form, which would be JDAMs or GPS guided. Uh, we can stick with that. Be armed with both the AM 12B and AM 12C. Uh, if you're wondering what's the difference between the two ARAMs, uh, one has a little bit further range than the other, and I believe the C is a bit more accurate. I could be wrong. The C is a more modern version of the ARAMs, but the B has a bit of a longer range. I think the C is actually a lot faster too. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to cut the recording here because sadly, being an old game like it is, the menu, as you can probably see with the box around the video, is stuck at a really low res and I can't change it, but the game the game itself is set at 1920 by 1080 so it's at 1080p. So I'm going to cut the video here and I'm actually going to write down my uh, right, flight so plan here and make sure that we're uh, following this uh, the flight plan here with the, uh, the altitudes and the IS um, indicated airspeed because these are very useful because as you can see here from looking at the threat analysis there are some uh, MiG-19 aircraft overhead so there will be some MiG-19s that will be fighting uh, close air protection as well as there are SA-5s uh, SAM sites close by and actually let's go and see there are some SA-2 sites where are these right, SA-5 sure. sites uh, southwest of Co Cox uh, Co Coxon Coxon South Coxon uh, I see these two SA2 sites is SA2 site what are you something else something else uh, we could recon the area whoops and look at this air defense Battalion. There are SA-2s. The main ones to worry about are the SA-5s. Some anti-aircraft guns. The Feng Sing B radar for the SA-2s. Uh, uh, they shouldn't be too much of a problem, but what we can do... Let's go in here and... Uh, Whoops, I don't want to add, I don't want to add to the flight plan. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Da, 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 da. Tight circles. Well, this is what I want. Uh, where is it? Is it tight circles? ADA high altitude. Nope, that's not right. It's like none. Add package, ruler, lines, bullseye. Proof, proof plans. What? What? No, that's not what I wanted. No, nope, that's not what I wanted. Let's delete that. Uh, I forget how to do it, but there's a way you can add uh, radar circles that you can have over the target so you can see where they are on your HUD. But uh, enough rambling, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, or cut the video here, and I'll join you all in game. Stay tuned. And welcome back, here we are in game. Let me go ahead and pop up the canopy lights for now, since we are on the ground, and as you can see here, we have night vision. It's kind of hard to see the ground, <laughs> or at least the runway in front of you, so. Go ahead and boost up our speed here. Do you need to start rolling? 2-7 from the sounds of it. Sure, brakes working. Yep, they are. And rudder is up and running. Make sure we don't run into the rear of our lead here. Actually, it would be uh, third, wouldn't it? Because I put myself on number four. So I am uh, wingman number two. As Wingman 1 flies for flight lead, and Wingman 2 flies for flight 2. Kind of... Kind of kind of works like that, you know. I'm at the back of the pack. I purposely put that. I'm usually in the front, but... Excuse me, this time I decided to put myself in the back. Uh, 
But yeah, as I was saying, a lot of modern flight sims don't do the whole dynamic campaign stuff like like they used to do. This game's, I mean, from... Oh, when was this game made? I think 1995? <laughs> no, I know it's not that old. I think it was 98 was when the original Falcon 4.0 came out. And the guys here at Benchmark Sims, which made Falcon BMS, the mod for Falcon 4.0, really uh, outdone themselves bringing this thing up to modern day graphics. Let's slide up a little bit closer. Not too close, but a little closer. I feel like I've got somebody breathing down my back here behind me. What was that? Huh, interesting. Uh, but yes. <laughs> uh, they don't... Modern things don't do a dynamic campaign. I mean, DCS doesn't even have a dynamic campaign. For that game, you just do missions on a little operation thing. Uh, Rise of Flight really is the only one that has somewhat of a dynamic campaign, but it's secondary, you know, everything's, everything moves, but it's moved before the players, I don't know, I don't really know how it works in Rise of Flight, it, I know it does work, it is a dynamic campaign, so, but this one, I mean, this is like playing, uh, kind of like playing a sandbox game, you don't know what's going to happen until it happens. Just waiting for the tower lady to give us the go ahead to take off. And I, I mean, I, that's something I really wish modern flight sims would do. Again, would bring these uh, dynamic campaigns. But it really does make the game interesting. It makes it fresh, you know. Each time is it's different. You play, you could play this scenario a hundred different times, and each time it will be different. You don't know what's going to happen, and how it's going to happen. Let me go ahead and check here and make sure. Whoops, not weapons. Nope, nope. Six, one, oh, weapons. You are for takeoff. Well, of course, weapons are off because master arm's off. We'll switch on the master arm once we're up in the air. Let's go ahead and give it a little throttle here. Start rolling again. I believe we have to wait, let Flight Lead and his wingman take off, and then we take off. There they go. I was going to say, you're going to go on my side of the, the runway there, mister? This is my side, not yours. Lobo 6-3, Osan Tower, clear for departure. I'm Lobo 6-4, so... Lobo 6 4 so. airborne. Stop here. And I'm not going to do like that other guy. We're going to go straight into... Afterburns, we're going to take our right behind flight. Behind our lead here. And up. Alright, let's set up steer point two. Click on the night vision here so you can see what's going on. And once we're uh, a bit up and away, we'll uh, adjust some things in the ca uh, canopy here. Cockpit here. Some altitude and airspeed up. Gotta catch up with everybody. Steer point two, we are supposed to be flying, yeah, 390. Yeah, if I'm looking off to the left like that, that I'm looking at my. Uh, Tower. Clear for departure. Looking at my notepad here, I got all my notes on. 
Whoops, I am passing up flight lead there. Two in position. Four is in position, but three is not. Go ahead and turn that off. And where is it? Turning off the lights. Don't want to be seen. Alright, where did three go? I lost my flight lead. Is that him behind me? No, that's uh, street lights. People. Right, let's go ahead and flip on the master arm. Check our weapons. It's air to air. That's air to ground. All right. Let's go ahead and switch back to navigation. Don't need that right now. There he is. Try and catch up and get on the right side here. Working, yes, it is. Where's he behind us still? Let's see what it looks like to. Nope, there he is. Oh, I'm actually supposed to be in the middle. We're doing the diamond, looks like. I think. Yep. Uh, I'll just stay where I'm at. Pick up the speed. We need to go 390 to steer point. Well, 390 to steer point 3 at 15, but we're going up to 220. 220 me, uh, miles. And we're supposed to be doing 210. Definitely going over 210 here. We're going down here and look at steer points. All right. Goes back. We can't slow ourselves down with the air brake. Uh, my air brake even deployed? I can't tell. I don't know. Like my aircraft is uh, doing something funky. Whoops! Trying to switch to. I don't remember what it is. Is it shift to? No. It's not the one. It's not the F's. Oh, I don't remember. Trying to get in the third person. It looks like my air brake is up. There we go. It's down. I'm gonna hold the button. Like I'm falling behind, even though I'm supposed to be doing 210. And maybe it's supposed to be 390 when we hit steer point. Three. Right, we'll find out. We we'll switch to air to ground here. Let's go ahead and get our switch from weapons to uh, TGP. And let's go ahead and set our TGP to from standby mode to air to ground. Switch that up a little bit. Might have to fly like that. Keep going back and forth between. Uh, let's see here. It is not the. Yep, because I don't want it to be yet. Alright. Alright, let's go to air to air. Make sure we uh, don't get any contacts. There are some bleeps, and I believe that is the flight behind us. Took off and kind of getting some radar hits from them. Let's try and pick up the speed here and catch up with everybody. Let's go out of SMS and in the HDS. We can watch where our steer point is. 
That's two we're supposed to be at. 220. Or 22. Uh, actually, you know, I'm going to cut the video here because I don't want you guys to be bored as I try to fly myself over to the target. Uh, once we get sort of close to the target, I will cut back in and we'll do some bombing. And, and unless we get into some air to air toughs, I think this is. Yeah, it's, uh, that's nothing. What are you guys, though? If I go there, and I declare. Sentry 1, Lobo 6 4, declare. Yeah, contact's friendly, so Lobo, don't worry about six, them. Alright, so yeah, so I'm gonna cut the video here, and I'll join you all when we get closer or into some fights. Stay tuned. And welcome back. As you can see, the fun started. We are approaching Steer Point 5, which is our target. We need to go ahead and arm our laser, switch over to GPU, go to the target pod here, switch out of that, and we need to make that the sensor of interest. Where is my... there it is. So, we are approaching the fault line here. Whoops. Kind of messing up. Alright, we're okay, we're okay. So we are approaching. We gotta get ready to release the pickle button. We need to fly straight. Holding the pickle button. And one engaged defensive. Bombs away. And bombs away. Both bombs are out. Bombs away. We need to actually keep that the center of interest there. We need to keep it on it. Flare. 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 Boom, and it's a hit. Okay, cool, cool. Alright, well, we need to bail the hell out of here because there are lots of flares going. And let's go ahead and start our defensive uh, pull out of here. We can flick back on the night vision here. And there's our uh, little bit of fun that we had. Let's go ahead and bail out here. Gonna go full throttle. Go ahead and break the area out of uh, break this area. You know, <laughs> mock it out of this area. So that was a success. You can see there's another Sam going off over there to my left. Two more Sams going off. Uh. One of the things about the SA-2, I believe, if I remember correctly, is they don't work very well at low altitude, as well as they don't work very well at a very high altitude. So those are off to my left, so we're okay. We're just going to run home. Tail in between our legs. We did our job. We hit the uh, airfields. We're pulling out. I'm down at 1,119. Now I am a bit of a, uh, I am a bit on a, ooh, that, that one's, uh, that one could be heading towards us. I don't know. I think, I think they're all shooting at one, so that's something. Uh, but I am at danger of getting hit by any aircraft guns, so. I'm going to go ahead. I think we're outside the ranges. There's another Sam going up in the air. Just hope it doesn't target us. But I think we're good. It's off in that direction. And we're exiting the area. So I believe we're good. So we can go back and start uh, climbing again. Whew. And I'm getting locked on. I don't know by what. Chat flare. Chat flare. break. I've not been good at dodging missiles as of late, so... <laughs> Let's hope this isn't the end of us. Alright, so... I think we're okay. Uh-oh. Lobo 6 attack target. You are a shooter. 
three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five. That's behind me. Oh, I think that's uh, f my friendly is getting into a tiff there. I really do not want to stay in the area. All right, what are you guys? Can I get the AWACS to declare for me? Sentry one, Lobo six four. Contact declare. is hostile. All right, so let's go Lobo, ahead and jump on six, this guy. Sentry one, contact confirmed. Sure, switch to MSA. We're on. Let's switch to the bees. So let's hold it here. Trying to get out of the area. Don't want to really stick around too much. Slow down a bit. We are on a beyond visual range. We can do that. And you should be getting into our right envelope away. here. Once the carrot hits the launch range, and we can dodge out of the way. Come on, start dropping, start dropping. I really would want to get out of here. Because all I'm doing is heading back into the combat zone. And three, two, come on. One. It's flashing. We are in four. Fox three medium. It's off. I do have to keep it on the target for right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and Cat defensive player. break. One, engage defensive. Lobo six, Lobo six, one, three, three, Wilco. Lobo six, you are shooter. So, that's Two, off. Wilco. One, engage I don't want to. I really don't want to engage uh, engage these guys over the target area. So shot. I don't know if I hit. Let's see if we can't. Uh, daybreak's coming up, so. We could technically fly like this. Let's turn back around here. Let's find out what these guys are. Let's see here. Sentry one, Lobo six four. Contact friendly. Lobo oh, six that? three. Sentry one. What about this guy? Sentry one, Lobo six four. Declare. Contact is a bogey. Okay. I'm not sure if my missile hit that guy. But keep an eye out. I think I uh, failed at that. That last one. I'm not sure where my friendlies are. If they've even returned back to base. So we get in the range for this guy. Uh, make three, make twenty nines there. You are shooter. Two, Wilco. One, engage defensive. I see a bunch of little things running around my radar there. I think those are uh, stuff friendlies are targeting. Two, engage defensive. Master arm is set. Oh, I think it's because the laser's on. There we go. And I'm getting flak batteried now. All right, I'm gonna bail out Chat of this one. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna head back. Where is my radar gimbal? There it is. I believe these marks here are baddies, so we can engage them, and they are in front of us back home. Come on now, lock on to them. I'm getting flak bubbled here. It's a friendly. Lobo six three sentry one contact is friendly. Oh, uh, let's see here. I forget how to switch from wide to narrow beamed. One engage defensive. Warning! 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 Uh oh. I think we took a little shrapnel there. Caution! Caution! Can we pull up? Can we pull up? No, we can't. No, we can't. Ejecting. Ejecting. Oh! Oh man! 
Well done. Let's go ahead and end the mission here. Please stand by. I'll be right back. And we're back. So, damn. We're considered MIA. We didn't get any. We got a good ratings. We're uh, MIA. Well, uh, so are. We released a AIM 120B at a SU 25, and we damaged it, so it did hit. And we released our two GPUs, and they hit the airfield. So this was a partial success, minimal damage to the target area. Uh, we go here and click the event log. Let's see, SA5 launched a Viper. Oh, they were launching SA5s at me. <laughs> uh, Lobo 1 ejected. Yep, 12.7 millimeter flat cannons were shooting at me. Lots of flat cannons were shooting at me. Uh, whoop. I wanted to get down to the bottom and find out what happened. And I ejected. Apparently I must have gotten out, even though I didn't see that. Uh, but these uh, uh, 57 AAA RGs launched at me must have hit. So 57 AA hit me. Well darn. We're down. We're in uh, MIA. Uh, we could continue the mission, I believe. Or, not the mission, but the, uh... What should we call it? Runway destroyed by Fury 6-2. Well, no, they didn't. We destroyed it. <laughs> uh, yes, but anyways, we can continue the mission. Or continue our game. We're considered lost, because we are MIA. But, like, if I go here, we can go and join in these strikes so technically we're still alive though we're not uh even though we went down but if you guys want me to restart the campaign i'll be more than happy to or if you guys want me to just continue to go with the campaign i'll do that as well so uh i'm gonna save it here and yes that's my uh i'll uh, just save it as uh youtube game <laughs> Uh, so yes, we'll save it here, uh, and I'll cut the video here, and if you guys want to see more, do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to continue from here, or if you guys want me to restart. I don't mind restarting. I, I don't know how many times I've restarted the game before. I'm still learning, so, you know. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time.